welcome back to another tutorial. I'm so excited. This one gonna be the second hexagon that I am going to make. So today we are going to make the hexagon chart because I've been upset with um I'm crocheting the hexagon lately. On the previous tutorial, I made the hexagon cardigan, the candy pop hexagon. Um, it's so easy to make and very quick to whip up. I just make the, this hexagon shirt in just like two days with break. So I think you can manage it in two days or three days for this hexagon shirt. So if you're new here, I'm Jane from JennyandTeddy.com. I share all things for beginner friendly and if you subscribe already, welcome back! I love you guys, thank you for your support. And um, let's go back to the hexagon. It's gonna be easy, beginner friendly. You can make them in any size by, by just adding more round to the hexagon. And I also have the free writing pattern on my blog with the detailed step-by-step -step photo tutorial as well as the PDF printable friendly version that you can purchase from my EC shop. I will put the link in the description below. Please check it out. And you can have fun with uh, playing with the color on each round or you can change up some color on any round that you, that you like. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So we are going to make this hexagon, two of them, and when you fold them in half, it's going to be look like this one. This one going to be the length of your hexagon and this one going to be your sleeve. And you can have fun chain up some color on the way. Let me show you how I, how I did with changing the color for the hexagon shirt. So my hexagon shirt, I change color like this one. I use the main color and the chain color. So when I fold in half, this is going to be my sleeve. And this is going to be the length of my shirt. Hexagon shirt. And then we're going to make two of this hexagon and then we will join them together and add some cute collar separate and that's all you done and let's get started so what you need is a crochet hook size four millimeter crochet hook yarn needle stitch marker a pair of scissors measuring tape and this for this project you actually can use any scrappy yarn is perfect for this project you can use any kind of yarn that i would recommend you can use from three weight four medium weight or two weight and and the shirt i made is um um i work with a uh, hundred percent cotton because the cotton it will give you a nice beautiful depth and good weight texture is perfect for the warm weather on oh, like spring and summer it's perfectly fine for for cotton but you can use like acrylic yarn wool yarn or cotton blend or bamboo anything you like okay this one is um no limit for the yarn that you will use yeah, and tie that you will use but I, I would recommend to use like from two weight to three light and four medium weight will be perfect and then in this example side I use um, rainbow cotton 100% cotton from Hobby it is last six and one skin is about 50 gram and um, it's a 105 mate 
So in this example, size fit size small to medium is from um, 30 in bus size to about, um, I think it's 36 in, it will be fine. And I use the main color is 10 of them and the uh, contrasting color is um, um, four of them. So overall I use about 14 and I have calculated the 14 of them is equal to um, 1470 mate. So if you are bigger, like size large or XL, I, I recommend you probably add like, um, add about um, the main color, you need to add more for, for skin and the um, the contrasting color you might be adding another two so you might be adding about six more um don't worry about it i will put more detail about how much yarn you will use on the, um, on the estimate size for size bigger i will put detail on my free writing in the blog post I will put the link in the description below. You just go there and click and have a look for it. And let's go to the next step. And um, now we are going to um, start the hexagon. The hexagon, our hexagon um, shirt will be look like this. This one will be, um, you know, when we fold up, will be uh, the sleep and this side will be the length of your shirt. So we will start with the main, the sleeve first, main hexagon, and then we will go down adding some length to the, um, the shirt. The length is, can be easily customized. So you can have the length as long as you like for the shirt. And then we will do it together. We will start on um, row one of the hexagon together. We just do row one, row, row one, row two, row three, and then we will start to repeat row three, row after row until we get the length that you like, the side that you like, the big enough for the sleeve and the body. So let's go to start the uh, um, row one together. We will start on um, row one. We start with a um, magic adjustable ring. Wrap the yarn two times, insert your crochet hook underneath and pull up a loop. And then we will chain three. One, two, and three. This will count as a one double crochet stitch. And then we will make our first cluster. So we will make two more double crochet. One double and two double. So now we have our first cluster. So chain, two, chain three that we made is counting as um, one double crochet. So one, two, three. So it's three double crochet in one cluster. And now we are going to chain three between the cluster. One, two, three. So this chain three, um, and then we will um, making three double crochet in the ring. One.
two and three and um, I will go so I will go slow because um, I naturally am slow already if you want um, the fast fast one like if you're not beginner or you more you you can go to get a free writing pattern on my blog it's exactly the same but I just walk you guys through the, the video tutorial and now we have our second cluster already three double crochet one two three and then we will make chain three again one two three and make um, three double crochet in the ring one double two double and three double crochet so now we have three cluster already so um, I will let you know that um, the chain three between each cluster you can uh, adjust it to be like chain one or chain two. I do chain three because um, it's easy for me to find for for between the cluster for me for the next round because it's easy to find for me to find a chain space for me. So I just make it chain three. You can do like chain one or chain two, and you can even put the, my tip can put like um stitch marker between the, in the chain space here so you can easily spot on the um the chain space if you do um chain one between the cluster i'm just lazy to do i just um just make it chain three so now we are going to chain three again one two and three and then we are going to put one more cluster three double crochet one double two double and three double so now we have our four cluster already one two three four then we are going to chain um three one two and three and join the on top of the chain three that count as a uh, one double crochet is your first stitch with slip stitch here join the round with a slip stitch Now we have four cluster already and now we are going to um, add the length to the shirt. The length we will add in the multiple of three, in the set of three. I will add about um, 51 chain. One, two, three. One, two, and three, six, one, two, and three. So it's nine already. I will um, go off the camera and meet you at 51 chain. And I will tell you um, how the length, the length that I, I get from the, um, for the, the length of the shirt that I will get from 51 chain so now I got up I got a 51 chain already you will make the length in the set of three multiple three um, I got about um, I will me measure it's about um, 14 inch here 14 inch from the um, round one and then it's 14 in if you want the, your shirt to be longer just add more chain in the set of three and this one will be um, under from from your armpit to 
to the the length to the list of your shirt body I will show you what I mean hi guys so I finished with the four cluster already here one two three four and now we are going to add the length of your shirt the length of your shirt uh, we can do in multiple of three for the chain so I will show you um, this one this four cluster is gonna be um, gonna be under your um, like arm under your arm piece from here to here as my length is probably go about here so it's about 14 inch if you want your shirt to be longer just um, add uh, more more chain now we have 51 chain already and then we are going to make the granny stitch along the way so uh, we skip uh, two stitch from the hook I mean two chain one two and we will make um, two more double crochet in the next stitch one double and two double so the chain two that we skip we count as a one double crochet here one double crochet and the other two one two so we have three double crochet already and then we will skip two stitch one two and make three double crochet in the next stitch one two and three and keep repeating this by skip two stitch one two and make three double crochet in the next stitch one double um two double and three double crochet So now keep repeating this until we are nearly the end of the row here. So now I am um, nearly at the top, the four cluster. I have um, three stitch, um, three chain left. One, two, three. We just um, skip two chain and make three double crochet on the next chain. Skip two, one, two, and make three double crochet in the next chain. One, two, and three. So now we're not gonna join the round. We're not join the round. Just keep working. So you will see um, chain three space one, two, three, four. In each of chain three space, we make three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet. So one, two, double, three double. And then chain three, one, two, three, and then make three double crochet, one, two, and three. So now we will keep repeating this by make in the chain three space, we make the same this one. Three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet. I'll show you one more. No, I think I will show you all. <laughs> show you all. One, two, three. 
chain three and then make three double crochet one two and three now we have two chain space left we can we are going to keep going in this chain three space make three double crochet chain three and three double crochet one two double three double and then chain three one two three and then three double crochet three double crochet one two and three so here we are one more to go one more space to go so in the chain three space make three double crochet one two and three one and chain chain three and then make three double crochet one two and three and now we are on this one on the length of your shirt so we just um, go you see the the space here space here just make three double crochet one two and three So keep going so you see the the space here the stitch from here show you um, the stitch here we will make um, three double crochet one two and three um, so we keep going until the end of the row here I will show you how I did at the end and just to check if it's going, going to be on we are going to be on the right track so here you fold it up so one two you have four one two three four fold this up so this one um okay this is gonna be uh you sleep this one gonna be the lens so we are good to go So now I am at the end of row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty
So uh, now on uh, row two, we just uh, work it up from here. Row two. So chain three, we count as one double crochet, and then we will do um, two more. Two more. One, two, three. So here. One, two, three. And then we will um, make three double crochet in the space from the previous row. One, two, and three. Keep going, make three double crochet in the space from the previous row. Keep going until the end of the row. I mean, the end of the row. Until we are about here and I will tell you what we are gonna do next. So now we are close, close to we crochet close to the um, the cluster. So you see the chain chain three space. We're gonna do the same line on three double crochet chain three and three double crochet on the chain three space. This one, if we keep doing this, it will continue to make the hexagon bigger. And for the next one, here we just do normal because it's not chain three. We just do um, three double crochet in the chain in the space from the previous row. One double, two double, and three double. And then we are on the chain three space. We make three double crochet. One, two, and three. Three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet. All in, all the, in the same. So, so you see the next one is a space here from the previous row. We just make only three double crochet group. We make three double crochet in this space from the previous row. One, two, and three. And so on the next chain tree, Next chain three space, we are gonna do the same like this one. So the next chain three space, we making three double crochet and chain three, three double crochet. One, two, and three. And chain three, one, two, three. And then Three double crochet. And then you will see the space here. We just only make three double crochet, but on the chain three space, we make three double chain three and three double in here. Keep going until we are on the last chain three space of row uh, row two I think yeah row one row two yes this is the last chain three space of row two okay row one 
row two, one, two, and then the easy one to count, one, two. So we are on row two. So sorry, I'm just making as I go. <laughs> so I will meet you when we are here and then we will continue to do here. Now we are on the last chain three space of row two. So we just do the same. This one is just the space from the previous row. We're making um, three double crochet. One, two, and three. And on the next one, on the space here, we're making three double crochet. One, two, and three. Keep going until the end of the row and the end of the row here. I will meet you at the end of the row here. Now I did, we are at the end of row two, one, two, at the end, one double crochet in the chain three space from the previous row. So here we are. And now chain three. One, two, three. We are going on row three now. Row three will be the last row that we are going to do. And then after that, we will repeat row three until the hexagon is big enough for the, uh, to fit your body. So chain three and we count as um, one double crochet. So we make two more, one double, two double, so now we have three double crochet. One, two, and three. And we just repeat the same on this space from the previous row. Make uh, three double crochet. Next space, make three double crochet. And we will repeating this until we are at the top on the cluster repeating this until we are at the top here at the top of the cluster on this one just make three double crochet three double crochet and on this chain space just make three double chain three and three double on this one. So I will show you again. We will do it from here. I will show you when we are here. I'm now close to the cluster. We are on row three. One, two, three. On here, we're just making three double crochet. One, two, and three. So on the chain three space, repeat the same from the previous row. So we make three double crochet, one, two, and three. Chain three, and then three double crochet. One, two, and three. Keep going. 
So you see the space from the previous row, make three double crochet. This one, three double crochet. This one, gonna be the same as this one. So three double, chain three and three double. Keep repeating this until the end of the row. So I will meet you at the end of row three. So I just um, fold it up to see if it's going good. So yeah, good now. This one gonna be sleep and this one gonna be the length of your shirt. So I will meet you at the end of row three. At the end here. Guys, so now I finished uh, row three already. I'm just counting from here. It's easier from this, this one. One, two, and three here. And now it's gonna be your hexagon gonna be look like this. And this will be the length of your shirt. We have uh, we fold it up in half to see if it's good so it's gonna be look like this one your hexagon three row yeah, this one gonna be like um from your arm piece to the lens something like this and we will keep repeating row three until we have your you are a uh, measurement i will show you and you can changing up the color all along the way i will show you how i change the color so here we are i did the um the hexagon already I did about um, I think 17 rows for my size, size small to medium, probably like bust size from 30 to 36 inch. And then I shade the color, you know, um, I shade the color on um, row, how, what row I shade one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I change color on row eight and eight and row nine. And what I did is on this side, I I um switch back to the main color, so it's like give a little bit of gimmick to to the shirt. You can go along the way. I did the same color, this contrasting color for two row. You can do like one row or three rows, it's up to you. And on this part, I didn't, I changed switch back to the, the main color. And on this part, I switch back to the contrasting color, just simple changing color. And on the last two row I did is um, do the color all the way on the on the um, on the uh, hexagon on the last two row before I finish on the first piece I change color all the way this one this one and this one but the first one I did is uh, I didn't change on this one it switch back to the main color so we I did this about uh, 17 row and I will fold them up in half to show you and it's gonna be look like this so it's gonna be half of your shirt it's a bit oversized I think for me but the length is like the length is gonna be like this. Um, yeah, and that's it. We will repeat the same for the um 
second piece of the hexagon and I will meet you there and we will do the assemble the hexagon shirt together so now we are going to create the uh, sleeve first so how I fold so this one then I fold them in half like this Can it be like this? And then I will use a stitch marker to secure the um, the position of the sleeve. Um, I use about four, I have four stitch marker. So I'm um, because uh, it's a bit big piece, so. I'm not sure it can go on the floor because um, my uh, my tripod is uh, too small to show you all. So I think stand up would be better solution to show you. So we just use the stitch marker on here. So we are going to sew along here from here to the end use a yarn needle so I'm using the yarn needle here sew along I will sew from the edge You can use your favorite um, sewing stitch. I this was um, it's a, I think it's called a whip stitch. So here, um, I just um, try to show you uh, how I did this up here. This might be a bit difficult to see, but you know how I just sewing, um, join them as simple steam, any steam you like. Or you can even use the the machine sewing machine, I think. But I don't know how to use the sewing machine. <laughs> oh, I need to learn. So, so it's going something now. Hmm. Keep going. I will keep going until the end. The end here. And I will meet you there. Okay? Hi guys, so now I just finished. Um, hi guys. Hello. Uh, so now I just finished sew up the to create the uh, sleeve for the shirt hexagon shirt. So it's gonna be look like this one, and I tried it on. 
so it's gonna be like this yep. and we are going to do repeat the same for the uh, second hexagon and I will show you when I finish the second piece of hexagon to create the uh, sleeve so um, now I finished the sew up the, the shoulder to create a slip already you can see here and finish the other one too and then I'll just um, try it on to see if it um, look good and I think it'll be fine because in the back and now the next one we are going to um, create a back panel for the shirt sew up here I think I, I just go off the camera and sew up in the back and we'll show you because uh, it's uh, just easy we just um, show you um, this here in the back we just connect this back together all the way use your yarn needle and stitch, um, stitch marker along all the way here and then I will come back and show you when I finish and after that we are going to add the um, uh, collar for the shirt here we are I done that with the back panel already so it's here in the front I just try it on I didn't add any more row additional row on the back panel because um, I think it's, uh, it's, it's good as it is, as it is so I didn't add more it's gonna be um, Try it on and see. So it's gonna be look like this, and in the back here, and it's the good lens. Um, hang on, I'll show you. The lens is just like up here, cover the butt. So I uh, think it's perfect. And now we are going to um, add the uh, collar. The collar I made it already. I pre-made it. It's just uh, use a granny stitch and the foundation chain will be like in the multiple of three and then if you want your collar to be like longer just add more chain to the foundation chain and we'll just try it on to see if it look okay the collar should be here oh perfect so we we will attach the collar by um, stitching, use the yarn needle or so sewing on here. So here the collar, oh, it look good. Uh, I didn't expect it to be look good like this because I like, I make it as I go. <laughs> so, so on the next one we are going to make the collar, but I will, um, I also have the free writing pattern for the granny stitch for the collar as well. But I will walk you guys through the, um, each row of the um, granny stitch for this tutorial. Okay, let's go to the making the collar. So here is my collar. I'm making with a granny stitch. I'm making about four row of the granny stitch. One, two, three, four. You can add more row to make it your collar thicker and or smaller by like make less row and actually the collar you can use in um in uh, use another crochet stitch like the easy one don't need to be the granny stitch 
can do like um, double crochet, single crochet, half double crochet for the collar. You can go something fancy like um, alpine stitch or the post stitch or ripping stitch. You can do the ripping. And I will measure my collar. Um, it's about two, two and a half inch thick. And in this pattern, I use a granny stitch. So the foundation chain of the collar will be um, in multiple of three. I will make a 57 chain. So you can add more chain like um, in the set of three if you want your collar to be longer. So um, oh, let me measure. My collar is about I forgot to show you guys that how was the length of my collar it's about um, 18 inch you can see here 18 inch if you want your collar to be longer and in the set of three so um, let's do it <laughs> So uh, we start with the slip knot and then I will chain 57 chain in the set of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going until you have 57 chain. I will meet you there. So now I have um, 57 chain. I will measure up my chain. It's about um, 18 inch, like I showed you before. My stitch is 18 inch, and we are going to start on. We got. We are going to make a um, single crochet in each chain across. Single crochet. One single crochet in each chain across. One single, one single, one single crochet. And I will meet you at the end of the row when we finish one single crochet in each chain across I'm now at the end of the single crochet row and then we will chain two one and two and we will start on row one of the granny stitch row one of the granny stitch we will do um one double crochet in the same stitch so the chain two we count as a one double crochet so we make so we have two double crochet already and then we skip two stitch one two one two and then make three double crochet one double two double and three double crochet and we will be repeating this by skip two stitch one two and make three double crochet in the next one one two and three and i will show you one more time Uh, skip two stitch one two and make three double crochet in the next one one two and three keep going until the end of the row I will meet you at the end of the row here we will do on the last stitch together
Um, hi guys, I'll just go back to read the pattern about the granny stitch on my post. And actually it's just, it's, uh, the foundation chain is a multiple of three plus two. So I'm, I'm, so my mistake. But I'm not gonna rip this one off. <laughs> It was too nasty to go back. Anyway, I, we, we can um, figure it out together. So, at the end, I have three stitch left. It's, um, three stitch left. We just uh, skip two and then make two double crochet in the last stitch. But if you have one stitch left, just make two double crochet. If you have two stitch left, skip one and then make two double crochet in the last stitch don't worry about it it will be fine tell myself yeah it's just like crochets need to be um, relaxed okay for me <laughs> so now so it's like i just like have one stitch here that this totally fine uh, I'm, I'm not neat so if, if you if you think I should rip it off and start again please comment or if you agree with me we just go with the flow please comment and um, then we're gonna chain two and start on row two on row two we will do um, three double crochet in the space from the previous row so here and then on the next one we do three double crochet just keep repeating this three double crochet in the space from the previous row keep doing until you are at the end of row two i will meet you here okay so now we are at the end of row two of the granny stitch we make one double crochet in the chain three space from in the turning chain as a in the turning chain it's just chain two space and then we chain two turn your work and we just repeat um row one and row two of the granny stitch until you get your um, thickness of your collar and i'm gonna show you my collar is here so my collar is about four row. One, two, three, four. You can add more like five, six row, something like that. And the next one we are going to um, sew up the collar. And yay, we're gonna be finished. We attach the collar to the um, shirt. Let's do it. So now I'm going to sew along Who don't like sewing? <laughs> Me Actually if you don't like to sew You just like um, press the stitch marker on both sides and then start to add like crochet stitch that way so here we are I'm nearly done now so I attacked the collar already and that's all done Next one, I'm going to try it on to show you guys how it does it look. So here I am. I did add the collar. You can see. 
and then it just went on. Um, this is color. Oh my god, I think. Okay, I think it's okay. <laughs> okay, here we are. I've done it. And if you guys like the tutorial and if you make one, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creation.